Hey, this is Tom Malloy. Okay, normally I do videos on filmmaking, but uh, this is gonna be something that's like a tech tip. I am a tech guru, been my whole life, and I did one video on a secret uh, tip for Final Draft, which is in the, the um, description below, and that became like a, a, a huge video, a lot of people clicking on it and using that advice. So here is something that I'm gonna give you, this is a Microsoft Word uh, tip. And this is for if you're trying to, trying to sign a document in Microsoft Word, you don't wanna have to print it out, sign it, scan it back in, and do that whole process. You can actually do it in Word, and here's how you do it. Okay, first thing you wanna do is take like an index card, uh, something with a clean white background, and then sign your name on there. Okay, I'm just using John Smith for this example. And so you sign your name, and then what you would do is take a picture with your iPhone. Then you're gonna maybe do some editing with the iPhone, crop it down, rotate it so that it's even and it's flat. You want it in a flat line. All right, now take that, airdrop it or send it to yourself uh, on your computer and you're going to go to this website and this is one that i found called erase.bg uh, i'm sure there may be others that erase backgrounds but many of them put watermarks in it if you're trying to use it for free this one completely does it for free doesn't put a watermark at all you want to upload the image and then you're, it's going to show you how it looks when it removes the background and then you take that image you download that and that's going to save it as a png file png files are known because they have transparent backgrounds many times so now you're going to take that you go over to your microsoft word and so this is your sample contract here's the line where you got to sign okay so take a look at this you're just going to go up here and you, you, you place your cursor in the line right at the beginning then you're going to go up to insert and then pictures, and then picture from file, right? Okay, so now you select that the file and you know, my signature.png or whatever it is, okay? And you're gonna put it in there. Now, obviously it looks gigantic, okay? So you don't want that. So you just click on the corner and you just resize it. But now you're thinking, oh yeah, Tom, I could have done that. Like that looks, you know, horrible and push the line over and how do I fix that? Okay, so here's what you do. This is the secret a lot of people don't know about. You're gonna click on the picture and it's gonna pop up this picture format window here. You go up to wrap text, pull a little drop down uh, arrow, and then go to behind text. Now look what it did there. It just kind of put it behind everything, but now it's draggable. So now you could drag it up to the line, and look at that, even part of it goes over the line, so it really looks like it's a signature that's that's been placed on the line. Now, you don't want to just send th th this file as a Word document and then just call it a day. You want to print it to PDF, okay? And then you print it to a PDF, you send that PDF, and to anybody that sees it, it looks like you signed because that's your actual signature. So this is the way definitely around having to um, print something out and then scan it back in and then send it this way. It saves a lot of time and it looks just as good as a signature. I hope this little tech tip helped you.